Selamat sore. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Brio's Review. And today, we're going to review an authentic Japanese food. It's a classic food. It's the icon of Jokjikata. And it's called Good. Now, you're probably asking me, oh, Brio, what's a Good? Never heard of it. Is it tasty? Simple meaning. Good is an iconic Jokjikata food with rice, skin, chicken, and some spices in it. Now, today, I'm eating all this Gudek in Jokjikarta. It's camera don't let me down. It's Gudek Yuju. It's the oldest Gudek in Jokjikarta. It was made in 1951 and it's the cheapest I bought. It's only two dollars. If you add more meat, it will cost you a dollar or more. Now, what makes Gudek Yuju so special? The first one being Gudek Yuju is really an old classic food for Jokjikarta people. The second one, it has so many fenders everywhere. You can see Gudek Yuju. Now, I bought this Gudek Yuju in Windjilan Street. Now, Wijilan Street is very special for one reason in particular. For the Wijilani Street has lots of good there. I bought the Yujimon, always tastes the best. Now I will show you the Gudek itself. You know what? Do be looking good. As you can see, the camera please don't let me down. Here's the iron bacham, tempeh bacham, and the kritchak. Now, kritchak itself is a skin that has been brought, has been fried up, turned into a book or cracker, and then they combine it with sauces and spices. And the gudek itself, the gudek is a young jackfruit that's been cut up, marinated, spices, and brown sugar. And the final product is right here, the gudek. And there's a banana leaf here. Ah, the banana leaf. Now, let me move this to a plate, and let's continue eating. Okay everyone, I'm back. I'm going to show you the gudek itself and it's very full. You can see, now you can see the side dishes really. Now let me show you the first one. This is kretchek. Kretchek. Yes, it's kretchek. It's basically cow skin that has been fried and marinated with a bad spicy bag. Let's try it out. That tastes, <clears throat> that tastes sweet. Because lots of Japanese food are mostly sweet rather than spicy. And there's a gudek itself. Now, let's use the rice a bit. Yeah. The good that's flavor explosion is sweet, savory, and the soy sauce is really dominating. I really like it. Now, let's try the tempeh bach if I can find it. Tempeh. Uh, the tempeh has been cut into pieces. Let's try it out. Iron bach and both are marinated in soy sauce batter. That's what makes them really sweet. Uh, No, I'm going to continue off screen, eat this up, and I'll tell you what do I think about the Gudek Yujim itself. I'm back, and I just finished the whole thing. I was really enjoying it. I have ordered more Gudek and Crit Check is write that down. All empty. As you can see, it's all empty. I was hungry, even though I ate lunch. But it's totally worth it, guys. And Gudek only cost you around two, three and, and a half dollars. And that's a total bargain. Remember, I bought the Gudek in Yujim Fender. In yeah, Eugene's Fender. They're located all over Jokjikarta. I'm going to show you the nearest one from my place. Try them out. It's really worth it to try if you went to Jokjikarta without trying the Gouda. You're missing out. You haven't visited Jokjikarta yet. You need to try the Gouda. Even though it's not Eugene's, you should totally try any Gouda you can find. Oh, that's all from me today. Thank you for watching today's video of Reels Food Review. Well, make sure to leave a like, smash that subscribe button, come down below, or what food should I eat next? Thank you for watching today's episode of Reels Food Review, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.